This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. And I'm back with another, another fucking video. And as you read that title, yes, this is my 48 hours with the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. And I finally got the case in hand. And uh, yeah, I'm about to unbox it right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. back and just my first impression video you know i love the phone you know it's just the initial rush um when you first get a new product you 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 love the phone you know you you love the new product and then after a couple of days or a week or maybe a month to go away but this phone first of all i got it looking like one plus like i love one plus wallpapers i like one plus um you know apps the app pack, I like that. So, and this this thing is so smooth. Like, it is ridiculous. Even the transition went going from this screen to that screen used to have a glitch, like a, a little stutter. That's gone. Everything is gone. Another thing that I really love that I might have to put into um I might post it here or I mean over here. I might post it here is um the micro camera. I think that's what it's called. When you zoom in. in real close on something but this car makes it's kind of messed up but when you zoom in like real close in the details you can't do that on no other phone i ever had especially the iphone 12 pro max you can't do that that you can zoom in so close by the fact i'm gonna show you right now <clears throat> i'm gonna show you the level of detail that you can get from this thing uh, i see how close i am right most cameras can I even get that close? Let's see. So. All right. But most cameras is not even getting that close. We can see that level of detail. And you can even get closer than that, though. Like, if I was actually focusing. <coughs> excuse me. If I was actually focusing down on it like this, you can even get closer. And that is amazing. The camera here is amazing. I love the iPhone camera, iPhone 12 Pro Max camera is great, but the camera on this phone, the video on this phone, I, th to me, I've had every phone, the Z Fold, the, the Note, every phone like, from Galaxy came out this year, I've owned every one of them, except for the Z Flip, I haven't had that one, but um, this phone is so fast, so everything, like I, I'm so amazed by this phone, my 48 hours is, I feel like I just opened it, just unboxed it, and it's just so fast. And this, do you see that screen? The, just the quality in the screen. If you was on the fence, because I was on the fence for a while when I first was hearing all the rumors and leaks and everything for the phone was coming. Like, nah, I ain't getting it. I'll wait for something else, right? And then um, there's some of the modes that's in here that I like. I like this mode right here that you can use. Can you see that? Enhance processing. That boosts everything. It apps faster. It's just little stuff like that that Samsung paid attention to. And even, let me see, let me clean this. And then, of course, that fingerprint scanner. You know, see that? Let me see. It's hard to do it behind the camera. Let me see. Can you see it behind the camera? It is it is fast. I don't know if, if I can really get to it. It, it works 99% of the time where most of the uh, last year, I say the, the Note or the Galaxy S20, fingerprint it ain't okay it's about 75 maybe a little more than that percent high this is like 99 percent. like literally every time you touch it it pretty much unlocks unless you just like blindly doing that but if you just like looking boom put your finger there it's yeah it, it works flawless let's open up this case i haven't used this yet i haven't opened it up i want to unbox that i was waiting for it's supposed to came the same day i got the phone but the, when you order from best buy lately they, they're, I don't even think I need to do this. Okay. It's been horrible. Horrible experience. Anything I order from Best Buy has been horrible. And this case is on back order. If you get it from Samsung site, it's on back order. What's this? Oh, it's the pen tips. Okay. So, you need the pen tips. 
That's cool. I don't even think the note came with pen tips no more. Okay, so this is a silicone case, right? That's what this is? Yeah, the silicone field case. Got the little slot for the S Pen. Yes, it feels feels real good. Let's actually put it on the phone. If y'all seen the last video, you'll see my little clear case, but I still got plastic on the phone and took it off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like them cutouts. Y'all see that? How it protects this. This was just wide open. So see, stick your finger in there. But yeah, you see the cutouts perfect. Like, I don't know. I ain't put a case on it, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I can do from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay. It was a little off, a little cutout. Oh, that's a wide open cutout compared to this one. And it seemed like that's wide open, but this is more. I already like the way this feels. Let's let's take out the S pen. And let's compare this S pen to this other S pen. Let's see this one. Cause if you didn't know, this is from my Tab S7 Plus. And as you can see, any S Pen works on here. Okay, so this is bigger. So this is the S Pen that come with the case. This is the new S Pen, so that's for the new Galaxies. And this is the one for the Tab S7 Plus. So it's a little bigger, but let's see how it feels. By the fact, let's see how it works on here. Oh yeah, that is nice. It's f it is responsive. Let's write a little note. Let's see, click this. Oh yeah, I feel like I got a note, but this this pen feels better than a little note pen that come with the notes. This feels better. It's more rounded. It ain't like squared off like that. This feels good. I ain't gonna lie. So let's just write on here. Oh, you can hear it too. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's nice. That is nice. I ain't saving that crap, but I don't want to tell you that. Anyway, I guess I saved it. Let's see how it goes in here. Do it just go down? Oh, okay. So just go down there. See if it bothers me. No. Don't feel like it's on there when you're holding it. So you just grab it like this. How you get it out? How you get this thing out? Oh, okay. So you just, it got to go sideways. Oh, no. It don't. Okay. So you can put it in any kind of way, but it's probably better to put it in that way. Like this way, not like the flat way, but like turn it this way towards the like the Samsung logo. So the Samsung logo is sticking out. That's the best way to put it. I guess that's for branding purposes too. So you just get it out and you just go to work. Get it out and go to work. This thing is worth it. I uh, got it from Best Buy because like I said, Samsung was sold out completely for until end of February. And I wasn't about to wait that long for the case. I was just wasn't. But I got this case for 40 bucks on Best Buy, and it's normally, I think, 69. Had some uh, Best Buy reward points, so got it for 40 bucks. But yeah, this is my 48 hours with this, you know. I want to make this a long video, but let me see if you can. Okay. This feels good. This is, it feels like an even better phone, and this is protective, what I like. I got to get a glass protector on here, but. This is what I like, how this is protected. They normally don't do this, protect this. You got the Samsung logo right there. But this case feels good. Is it worth 70 bucks? Um, Maybe, you know, if you really use the pen a lot, yes, then it's worth it. Because the pen by itself is like 34 bucks or something. And the case, you know, you could buy this case without this pen. I think, think they got a version of that for about 50. Um, I believe so. But with the pen, it's 70, you know. I say I pay 40. But... They, mm, it, I guess it's worth it. If you're going to be using this a, a lot, I guess it's, it's worth it. If I'm using the pen. Let me see if I can write the notes. Because I know. Okay. So I got the features, features when it's off. You can write on it. I don't want to say that, though. I guess it still saved it. I don't know. But anyway. So, uh, yeah. I think if you was on the fence about getting this phone, I definitely think you should pull the trigger. It's worth it. And <clears throat> is it better than the Z Fold, the Note, the Galaxy FE, the Galaxy S20? Um, yes. Yes. I know your Z Fold users probably, oh, I'm mad and I'm giving them a thumbs down or the Note users. You just hear me out. So 
this is the latest and greatest, right? So you know the latest and greatest is always better, have more features than the last phone. That's why it makes us better. The 888 Snapdragon processor, the camera on here is better. Uh, it's definitely more fluent. I like this. I like when somebody call you, it, it plays. Like, let me show you. Let me show you my emoji when they call me. I took a video picture of it. It's just these little feature, features that the Note, as of right now, can't do. Let me show you. Look at this. Look. I cut the music off just in case copyright, but you see that? That's my emoji I made. You see how he does it? That's every time somebody calls me, this is what this man do. Just little stuff like that that I just like, you know. But the reason why I'm explaining so the reason why I think it's better than a Z Fold is because for one, it's more practical. So the cameras is definitely better. The, the Z Fold cameras is not bad, but these cameras night and day better. I know the whole hundred space zoom thing is more of a it's a gimmick. But my opinion about that is, I don't think it's really intended for what Samsung says it's intended for. I think it's more for spying on people. Because <laughs> that's what you really is for. Zooming in that close, you're not going to take a good picture. Unless you got $10,000 camera or something like that with a big old lens. It's not going to take a good picture zooming out that far. So to me, it's like just to see things. You see a bird or something. That's pretty much, you know, that is a gimmick. But it's pretty much for that. But 30 30 zoom, oh, you could get a perfect picture from 30 zoom. And a micro cam, I think that's what it's called. We could zoom in real close. I love that. You could see, if you get a dollar deal, you could zoom in all the way to the window to see if it's somebody in the window. Cause they I heard that with the um that on the dollar bill, if you you know supposed to be somebody in the window or something. Uh uh Thomas Edison or somebody, I don't know, whatever, George Washington or somebody, whoever. But anyway, it's just another feature I like. But yeah, the Z Fold 2, that screen. You can't really even compare it to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a dual, a flip, you know, a uh, dual screen phone. So you can't really compare that to this. But which one would I rather have? This one. For one, it's cheaper. For two, you got all the latest and greatest. This fingerprint scanner is flawless, even though I like the fingerprint scanner on the side of the Z Fold. It's great. This has got, this is how the Z Fold 3 is going to be when it, with, with two screens. So when the Z Fold 3 come out, this phone is going to be obsolete. <laughs> I mean... It is, if you like, you know, folding phones. So it all depends with that too. But I do think this is better than the Z5. Definitely think it's better than the Note. The Note is great. You know, it's great. But now that this have S Pen support, even though it don't have the Bluetooth S Pen support, so I can't take a picture from it, or I can't, um, you know, do that little Bluetooth stuff that the Note can do. But this pen feels better than the Note pen. It's bigger, and it just feels like more of a practical pencil or pen. So my opinion is, this phone is better. The screen is better. The battery life on this phone is not as some YouTubers are saying. If you watch other videos where they say you get two, three days, not going to get that, but you definitely get you through a full day and maybe some the next day, depending on how you use it. Easy. Easy. And nothing I threw at this phone made this phone stutter. Nothing. This phone don't stutter, don't glitch. I, I think as of today, I mean, something could change in a month, but right now, this is the perfect Galaxy phone. The only thing... I won't say perfect. This is the best Galaxy phone as of today, but perfect would mean if they kept the SD card. Even though I don't even use the SD card, but if they kept it, this phone would be the best Galaxy phone ever created, even though I still think it is. But I do understand for some people who need that SD card because they need the extra storage because they got a lot of videos, a lot of pictures. I get that. That couldn't make you frown away. Like my dad is keeping his note for that. Mainly, one of, that's one of the main reasons. It's because of the SD card. He uses his a lot, and I understand that. If you're a big SD card user, this phone is a no-go. But if you don't need that in 2021, this is the best. This is the best Android phone from any company you can get in 2021. So far today, as of to 29th, this is the best phone. I'm just telling you this. And I know you see it on this channel. I've unboxed, I've had, sold, traded, gave away to friends. So many other phones, this is the best one. My favorite phone still to play with is the Z Fold. You know, I still uh I love to play with and stuff like that. Because just that screen is just something different. But if you're just comparing this to practical phones, ain't nothing better. And I got a video coming out uh with the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus this phone. So I won't give my opinion on which one I think is the smartphone king until I make that video. But um, yeah, can you please give me a thumbs up? Slap that subscribe button, turn your post notifications, 
hit that bell because I got plenty more videos coming up. I just got this in, the smart camera. I'm going to uh, unbox it on the channel and, you know, and see how this thing is. It's a little, you know, this has been out for a while, but I've been wanting it. I finally got it. It was only 30 bucks. No, 20 bucks, 20, 30 dollars. I can't remember. And uh, normally it was 100. So I just got that in. So I will be unboxing this next. This one of the next videos that's coming out in the next couple of days. But uh, yeah, my 40 hour impressions with this phone. It's amazing. It is amazing. If you was thinking about getting it, get it. Trust me. If you're into Galaxy, you want something fresh, something different. Even if you got an iPhone and you're like, look, my iPhone is getting a little boring to me. It's getting a little stale, a little old, whatever. This, this is a breath of fresh air. I promise you. I promise you. I don't recommend a lot of things. Like, I don't say everything is great. I mean, in the beginning, when you first unbox them, that wow, I'm amazed. But after a while, the hype go off. I don't think the hype will go off with this phone just because it, it's just, it's amazing. It don't have no flaws. Except for not having an SD card. If you consider that's a flaw, you know, then I guess it you know, got one flaw. But if you don't consider that's a flaw, then I don't want this. How do I get rid of this? Nope. Okay. But it, um, if you don't consider that's a flaw, the camera, the screen, the processor, the um, battery life, the S Pen, what is it missing from a, a Galaxy phone? It has every single thing. The 40 megapixel front facing camera is. It's retarded, man. I'm trying to tell you. It's it's an amazing phone. I can't brag brag more about it. I can't recommend this phone enough. And I wasn't even sure I was going to get it at first. And I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. And I got a wonderful deal. If you ain't seen that, I'll link it at the end. What I paid for it and everything. But this case is nice, too. Uh, 70 bucks. I still would get it because of the pen. You got somewhere to store it because I couldn't just buy the pen for $30 and just not have nowhere to store it. And I got to keep it somewhere in my pocket or something. That's a no-go. But $70, you know, if you can find it cheaper or get a little discount somewhere, it's definitely worth it. Even without it, I still would, I still would get it because I'm going to be using that pen a lot. I definitely am. But it fits it like a glove. And it just feels like it feels like the silicone cases that Apple sells. I mean, even though Samsung has been selling these for a while now too. But all the buttons feel perfect. It don't feel cheap. It feel premium. Don't feel like it's going to fade on me. It just reminds me of the color. reminds me of the battery cases from Apple, the smart battery cases. That's what it reminds me of, the color and everything. Yeah, it looks just like that. You can tell Samsung got it from that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is your boy, Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. Signing out with another video. My 48-hour impressions on the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G Phantom Silver. Yes, that's a long name. Samsung is getting longer and longer with these names, <laughs> but whatever. Got any questions about the case, the phone, anything you want me to review on the phone, anything you want to know, anything I didn't cover, leave me a comment and I'll make a video about it. I'm here so you guys don't have to run out and spend your money on something. You can come on my channel. I'll buy it. Check it out. Give my honest opinion because I'm a consumer that buy these things just like you. Spend your hard-earned money on these things just like you do. So I just do it so you don't have to, you know. So with that being said, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up. Even if you gave it a thumbs down, thank you for even stopping by, even getting this far in the video. Appreciate you. Love you so much. Almost at a thousand. The giveaway is coming up soon. That's a mouthful, but the giveaway is coming up soon. And uh, yeah, I just want to give back to you guys for just supporting this channel and supporting my new dream to be a YouTuber. Thank you. Love you. I'm out. Peace.